All right, so this is gonna be a tutorial on how to use storyboardthat.com for those of you that don't know. Again, this website is an option for those of you that do not like to draw, that are not talented artists. You do not have to draw your comic. You can create it digitally. This website is a really, really easy way to do that. I'm gonna walk you through how to use it really, really briefly so that you can get started on your own autobiography using this website. When you go to storyboardthat.com, which is the website linked on the assignment instructions, this is your homepage. You're gonna create a storyboard. Once you click that, it's gonna look this three by one cell. As a reminder, for each chapter, you need at minimum 14 images, right? Two eight by 11 pages of seven images. That comes out to 14 images minimum per chapter. If you are using this website, you can actually just create 14 different cells all on one really long scrolling page. That's okay, you still got the 14 minimum. To do that, you're gonna go to the bottom of the screen, add slash delete cells. These little panels are called cells on this website. So you can create, what do I need? Five rows, five times three is 15. Amazing, perfect. I now have all of my needed cells. So if I fill in all of these boxes, that's one chapter. I'm then gonna do that four times, project done, amazing. Let's say for this chapter, I'm gonna answer prompt number seven, a moment of great change in my life. Let's say that great change was, I used to live in New York and then my family moved across the country. Um, let's see, how do I wanna begin by telling this story? Plan it all out first. Um, for the sake of this example, I'm gonna go pretty quick. I'm just gonna drop in what looks like an old New York building. If I wanted to go inside my New York home, I would click on home indoor, there it all is. If I wanted to move from the country, there it is. All these little tabs, have lots of options and you can scroll through all of them until you find an image, a pre-made image that tells the story you need to tell. For the sake of this story though, I'm gonna pretend I moved from New York. Um, you can edit this scene. I'm gonna make it snowing at nighttime. No, I don't like that. Snowing at daytime, amazing. That's my scene. I now need to add me into the image. So I'm gonna choose one of these little characters that I think looks like me. Um, I should probably be wearing something warm since it's snowing. Great. Oh, I think that's a boy, but whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna edit everything so that it looks like me. Actually, I hate this, but whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna edit the pants, edit the shoes, great. I have a terrible outfit on. There I am, oh my gosh. Now, I'm angry about leaving, so I'm gonna edit all my facial expressions. My arms are crossed, I do not wanna leave. Um, I'm looking pretty angry. Great, there I am. Now I have to explain in written words, right? This scene tells a story, but it doesn't tell the entire story. So to finish up this box, I'm gonna add a text box. The text box are up on textables, top tab. There I am. And I'm gonna type, I don't want to move. Amazing, I am telling my life story. Just like everything else, you can edit the text, make it a little bit bigger. Beautiful. Now, next box. I'm gonna show some action, communicate that I am in fact moving. I'm gonna show myself and my family at the airport. If I cannot find airport by scrolling through all the scenes, I can look it up, search airport as a term and storyboard will give me everything that comes up with airport. I have, they even have little things like luggage, beautiful.
So this looks like the waiting room or lounge, whatever, of an airport. I'll drop it in, make it my scene. Maybe I went across the country in an airport that had, I don't know, orange seats. Beautiful. There's my airport. I'm now going to drop myself in just like we did before. Actually, let me drop some luggage in. I'll keep that up there. So back to characters. This time I'm going to add my entire family. So this lady will be my mom. Make her look like my mom. Beautiful. I'm going to edit her pose. Um, we'll have her, I guess, just neutral like that. Maybe my mom was excited to move across the country. And we'll have her sitting. Beautiful. There she is, sitting at the airport. Now I'm going to add in my dad. Um, let's see. Maybe this is what my dad looks like. We'll make him look how he needs to look, make him sit as well. Maybe he's a little more upset that he's leaving. Maybe I'll give him a mustache. Oh no, that looks really bad. What? Oh, this guy doesn't have an arm. <laughs> okay, well, pay attention. This might, okay. Aye, aye, aye. There's my dad with his bionic arm. And then I need to add me again. So I'm gonna go back to teens. And then I'm gonna find a girl that looks like me. I'll use this girl. And since I'm really mad about moving, I'm going to sit a chair away from them and I'm gonna make myself have a frowny face, communicate the idea that I am not happy about this move across the country. Great. So, I'm telling a story. Maybe I don't even need to add a text box in this. I think these visuals do a pretty good job of communicating. <laughs> In the next box, I can add us getting off the plane. Then I can have us landing or walking to our new house. Maybe I just moved to sunny California. I could show myself meeting new friends, our house, all that. Really tell the story in all of these boxes. Once you're done with your chapter, you're gonna go down to save at the bottom, click on it, Save storyboard. You may have to make an account to do this, but the accounts are free. Just put in your email. Save storyboard. And then you're going to download it. So download right here. You can download it in whatever form you want. Um, I'm just gonna save it as a PDF. That's what I like, do whatever you like. It'll download to your computer. If you have filled in all 15 of these boxes and you've told a complete story, you just downloaded your first chapter. Do that three more times. Tell me three more stories about your life. You will be done. As a tip, plan what you wanna put in these boxes before you get started. Make sure you're telling a coherent story. Put some thought and effort into it. I just kind of won did this on the fly, but I really want you guys to think about this. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use this website.